Welcome back to Bionic Life. My name is Kevin and today we are in Northeast Ohio and we are battling rain. Even though it doesn't look like it, it's sunny right now. But in Northeast Ohio, the weather can change in a, in a heartbeat. And all the stuff that I had laying out here is now drippy wet. So that's all part of the fun of living in Northeast Ohio. I had an idea on how to make my horizontal and vertical splitter a little more efficient and decrease the cycle time, increase the speed. I thought I could do this by increasing the steel line size from the one end of the splitter to where to the rod end of the splitter. The inside diameter of that line I think is like 5 16 and I thought well the, the import the inlet and the, and the discharge end they're both half inch MPT I thought well I'll just run a hose no problem. Well as it turns out the J, JIC connectors are the limiting factor. I also had a second part to this idea. I thought I could leave it as the horizontal vertical and make it a quick change over to a fork mounted or a front end mounted splitter on one of my loader tractors, inverted so the cylinder's facing you know, horizontal, but instead of the beam on the bottom, cylinder on the top, flip it, beam on the top, cylinder on the bottom, holding it over top of a big, 40 inch log or whatever we have up at the uh, where the village lays down all their tree lawn trees, cracking those into manageable pieces and finish splitting them on our other splitter. I used to get this kind of stuff fixed and that's Euclid hydraulics. Went in and I started to explain what I wanted to do and they're like, eh. Hey. They talked me out of all that. They said, keep it simple. What they suggested was just taking some line, some hoses, you know, threading with the half inch MPT threads screwing them into the cylinders and then you could just use that for that purpose. Well, I kind of like the idea of having some flexibility. So I picked up two female connectors. One of these will be screwed into the log splitter body. The other one will be a male on the log splitter body. I will also do the same on the hoses. One will be male and one will be female. That way, at least one end will always be connected right. On this end, my thought is, these are John Deere connectors. They're proprietary to John Deere, to the compact subcompact tractors. Mine's a John Deere 870. It uses these fittings. These, I'll just mark them and which one I want where on what port. And the plan is to mount the splitter to the forks using a piece of I-beam, and some box tubing, making a little bracket, bolting the I-beam to this piece of channel, inverted upside down from its normal position, hold that over, feed it with through these lines from the tractor. I will use the curl and dump feature on the tractor to split wood. All of this is just to break up big logs. Let's get started.
gonna try it without a center drill again. Ooh, got a little generous with the oil there. Ah, again, hit it backwards. If I was really brave, I'd engage the power feed and wouldn't even have to push down on the handle. I don't know if I feel that adventurous. What I did is use the six inch piece of channel, pre-drilled with the center drill, and now I'm gonna drill with a sm now I'm gonna drill with a smaller, a smaller guy, and work our way up to just a titch over five eighths. This one comes in both SAE and metric.
that's the wrong end. That's the John Deere end. Okay, maybe somebody who knows how these little John Deere 870s work can explain to me why the curl function and dump function will not cycle that. Well, it will cycle it, but it's developing a lot of pressure in these lines. So what I ended up doing is the lift and lower function on the boom functions the cylinder just fine. I can switch the raise and lower hoses over to the dump and curl function and I can raise and lower this the boom. I don't need to curl or dump. Actually, I prefer them to stay in one position. So that's not the issue. It's just it's going to be getting used to the controls. So I'm not quite sure why it is that way, but it is. So if anyone knows how these hydraulic systems work, please comment below or offer some suggestions. I'm all ears because you would think it would work.
give this little test a 7 out of 10. It split pretty well. Given I, I'm not sure what the pressure is on the tractor, I did not test that. I had the wrong fittings to do a check, but it split pretty decent. There is a, there is a couple of leaks that need addressed, and the whole mixer thing is confusing me. I'm not sure why I can't use the curl and dump feature to operate the splitter and the raise and lower to operate the boom. The way I have it plumbed right now and the way it works after an hour of testing and trial is forward is split, back is retract, out to the right is lower, the boom in, which would normally be curl, is raising the boom. So I do have raise and lower function. It's almost like I'm getting bypass on the curl and on the dump mode of the valve. You know, lower and raise is fine. This is pretty effective at helping me be a little more productive. For me to split these big of a rounds, it's, it would be a lot of work. I would have to use the forks, have the splitter in the vertical position, slide the fork log on it, get off the tractor, position it, maybe on and off the tractor a couple of times to get that round finally into firewood chunks. This method of breaking them down into smaller manageable pieces that are you know, easily liftable onto an, a secondary splitter, uh, you know, say it, it does work, it helps me be a little more productive. But like I said, overall, a seven out of 10, the negatives being a little bit of a hydraulic leak and definitely the way it mixes. But it does split and it breaks the pieces down. You saw they're 37 inches, 36 inches, and some of them are much larger than that. It breaks them down into manageable pieces, hands-free. And that was the goal. So it hits that mark, it splits well, it's just the controls are a little cattywampus. I normally would not be loading into a tote off this splitter, but, but since I just did a few chunks, I figured what the heck, why load them by hand? If you found value in this content, please like. If you think others will find value in this content, please share and also please subscribe. Have a great day.